Despite the dreary weather today, hundreds still made their way out to a park in New Britain to show their pink power. News 8's Stephanie Simone spoke with some cancer survivors about why this event means so much. Okay, guys, two commands. Go, Jenny. Go, Jenny. Go, Jenny. I kicked its butt, and I'm so proud of myself and proud of all the other beautiful women that are here today. At 28 years old, Lauren Peterson completed this race six times, but never for herself. Six months ago, she had a double mastectomy, and now she's cancer-free. It was kind of my metaphorical finish line, and also, obviously, a literal finish line as well. Peterson's peeps had 45 on her team. We found Team Grin and Barrett, and the sea of orange is jogging for Jenny's journey. I don't care if it rains, if it pours, whatever, we're running this race. And they did. Jenny was alongside them, just like she has since day one of her journey. I wouldn't be where I am today without it. That's the only thing I could say. They've been everything. Since the very second I found out that I had breast cancer, I've never been alone. With each person that crosses that finish line, they're hoping to raise about $500,000. All of that money staying right here in the state. Just that I'm extremely grateful for all the work that Connecticut Breast Health Initiative does for women and for men with cancer. And um, it's just a great way to show appreciation. It's real. Breast cancer doesn't choose. And um, you, know, you can be in your 20s, you can be 100 years old, it really doesn't matter. It's a reason folks do the race, trying to spread awareness, lift each other up, while fighting to the finish line of finding a cure. In New Britain, Stephanie Simone, Music.